<laughs> uh, we will talk about someone that I dated uh, probably two years ago. All right, so I started, actually, I started dating him when I was in grade nine, I think, or grade 10. And he was dating one of my best friends at the time, and I was a horrible person, and he was a horrible person, and we ended up, like, kissing one night. And I know, I'm a terrible person. Anyways, and he didn't want to be with her, but he, so he ended up breaking up with her. And I do not recommend 10 out of 10. And, um, so we, like, dated for a month, I think. And I went to high school with him, like, everything, after we broke up, everything was fine. And whenever he would date someone, he would always try and, like, get them, or he would always try to cheat on them with me. And, like, he dated a lot of my friends. He probably dated 95% of my friends in high school, which is really fucked up if you really think about it. And then the really funny part is, okay, so I dated him for maybe six months after high school. Um... Yeah, we were, we've, we would have been out of high school for probably a year and a half, and um, then we started dating, and so I dated him for a little while. He was, like, super into drugs, and it was just not a good situation at all. He was a really terrible person. He was always grumpy all the time. Like, he was just not good for me whatsoever, and it wasn't a good relationship. We had we had a really awkward relationship. Like it was never, I never felt comfortable around him. And then, um, he got this job a couple months after he got that job. He got me a job there as well. He had this boss that like ended up giving me the job. He's like, Oh yeah, like I'll give your girlfriend a job too. So I was like, okay, sweet. Then I'm starting to notice that like my boyfriend is having a lot more money like than he should for working where he worked. And he hardly ever showed up to work. He always called in sick, even though he wasn't sick. He was just hungover. I feel like I'm really good at catching on to, like, people's, like, vibes, I guess. When someone's sketchy, I feel like I know they're sketchy before something sketchy happens. In this case, I was 150 fucking percent right. Um, so the boss, I found out, was giving him money every day. He said he was, like, a son to him, like, all this stuff, whatever. And I was like, oh, that's like, that's nice, I guess. And then after a while, it started getting really creepy because the boss, our boss would message him like three o'clock in the morning, call him like several times. And then my boyfriend would never answer when I was around. And that, I thought that was really weird too. And would like freak out if I ever touched his phone. So I finally asked him, I was like, well, what's going on? Like, why are you getting all this money? Because he was literally giving him like at least $100 a day, if not more. Like, I swear, some days he'd come home with, like, $400, and I was like, where the fuck did you get that? Like, he makes, like, $10 an hour. Like, come on, you're not gonna come home with $400. Literally, he would ask for money, and the boss would give it to him. That should have been a bigger red flag for me, but before I broke up with him, I confronted him about the boss, because I thought something weird was going on between them, and he freaked out and, like got really mad at me for even thinking anything was going on. I broke up with him because he was just a terrible human being. There was a lot of more stuff that like went on, but I won't get into that. He was like still doing drugs heavily. First off, I gave him like a choice to tell his mom or that I would because I was concerned for his safety. It was to that point. And then, um, so yeah, I told, I ended up telling his mom because he lied to me and told me he told her, but he hadn't. And then she, like, got him help, I guess, and he wasn't allowed to go out unless it was to go to work. But the thing is, the work was the problem. Like, his boss was the problem. His boss was fueling his drug habit by giving him money every single day. Mine and my boyfriend's mutual friend actually went to go talk to the boss and told him exactly what the money was being spent on. And he didn't believe him at all. He kept continuing to give him money. And, uh... So I broke up with him. I lost all contact with him. I didn't want anything to do with him because he was just shady as fuck. The boss was like really weird with me too. Even after we broke up, he would continue to like the pictures of me and the guy. Like really old pictures. Cause, and then um, I messaged him one day. I was like, why are you liking the pictures? That makes me really uncomfortable. Because I didn't even have him as a friend on Facebook. And then he's like, oh, I just think you guys are really cute together. And you should get back together. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, no. Like he's a horrible person. And then... Finally, I think, this is only just recently, so probably like six or seven months ago, ironically, the best friend that was dating him in the beginning of the story, um, she messaged me and she told me 
that someone finally caught onto what was happening, went through his phone, took pictures of everything. There was conversations between him and the boss saying how much they love to see each other naked, how much they like to sleep with each other, like all this disgusting ass shit. And she fucking like took screenshots, like she took pictures with her phone of his phone and all these messages. So now like a ton of people know. So my boyfriend was gay. He was sleeping with our boss while we were together. A hundred and fucking ten percent. I'm like, and it blows my mind. I had a feeling that's exactly what was going on, but I didn't want to admit it because that is really messed up. Our boss was a 65 year old man from Pakistan. He was, he was like the sweetest man ever, but that is still really disgusting. He was married and he's sleeping with like a 19 year old boy. That is extremely messed up and like for money. So <laughs> not only was my boyfriend gay and sleeping with our 65 year old boss, he was also being a prostitute because our boss was giving him money for sex. So I will leave it at that because this video is getting really long, but maybe in the future I will make more videos about my terrible, terrible exes because there's quite a few of them. And I'm counting like two-week relationships from when I was like 15. So, alright, thanks for watching guys.